All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Greedfall. Let's go see if we can uh, find where we need to go. Because we're, we're having a rough go at it. And this is beginning to look like a dead end. I mean, the more XP, the better, but still looks like a dead end. Okay, so, oh, we got three points. Was I saving them for something? Hmm. All right, so what do we want to do? That works well. Maybe do I just kind of keep going southward this way? It looks to it appears to be working. All right, so around this way, could have probably slid down there. I think I hear sounds of battle up ahead. Or it's just particularly loud animals. There we go. Almost there. of all past warriors are gathered. The branches are reclaimed by the tree and bring strength to the village. Okay, let's go speak to Siora's mother. Who do you think you are? By what right do you enter the home of our queen? I am the emissary of the Congregation of Merchants. I have come to meet your leader. Come now, Arwant. You are not a watchdog. Where is my mother? Siora, I didn't see you. You have come too late. Your mother has gone to wage a war. They left for Didekid Nadageis only a few hours ago. Oh no. We need to catch up with them and avoid the shedding of blood. Please, haste. Very well then. Let's be off. All right, off we go. Need to get there quick. All right, so where are we headed? To the north. In order to go towards the Degudin Nadagis, we must follow the path leading toward the heights into the forest. I told on all Do you want to trade? I will come back to trade with you later, friend. Alright. 
I assume this is a camp? Yes, it is. Just this way. Alright. Little minor upset. Is this a corpse? Who's who is this? A settler? Okay, he has no information about himself on him. Oh, I overshot the direction I was supposed to go. Can I climb up this way? Sorta, kinda. There we go. Ah, oh, shit, beasts. Oh my god, I have the worst timing right now. Little help, guys! Where are they? Where'd they go? Where are they? I can kind of hear them, but I kind of can't. Alright, we're good. They'll show up. Alright, so up through this way. You are too late, Siora. Mother has fallen and we are defeated. No, no, no. This is not fair. I am so sorry. Who is this woman? She resembles one of us, but is dressed like a Renaigzi. I am the ambassador of the Congregation of Merchants. I am sorry for your loss. The Congregation? 
And what side are you on in this war? Those that massacre our people? Essel, calm down. You know that Mother sent me to seek out allies. You show up when the fight was nearly over. Was this part of your plan? You know that these monsters are taking our own. They must make honorable amends. We did our best to come as fast as we could, and I fought by your side. Please, please take the time to at least hear me out. There has already been enough death, and you are wounded. This is not the time for vengeance. You may be right. Waiting for my vengeance will make it taste all the sweeter. I feel weak. Might I ask you to watch over our own Siora? I must return to the village. Go on ahead. We will tend to the wounded. Won't we now? Yes. We will do everything we can. And find my mother. Or her body, if... If she is indeed dead. Look at this massacre. How? Find her banner. It bears the symbol of our clan. Okay. Well, we got corpses to sift through. And we got four hours to heal survivors. ton of stuff to sell. This way, there is a survivor. Let's hear him. Where is he? Oh. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. I don't see anybody around. None here. All right, up the ledge we go, I guess. Or it looked like a ledge. All right, let's check over here. Anybody hiding? Nope. These ruins are very strange. By what name did you call this place again? There was once a battle in the past. A great victory for our clans. Strange indeed. These walls are completely foreign to the styles of your own dwellings. Does this name that you gave the ruins mean anything in particular? Yes. It means ruins of the first guardian. I would like to dig around a little on the site. We might be able to unearth clues as to who actually built them. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. Uh, it's an interesting thing. I don't see any more people over this way. Stop! Look at yourself. 
You're acting like a beast. A beast has far more majesty than these monsters who have traded their souls. The, they have taken her. The Queen. They took her. Then she must still be alive. They wouldn't have bothered to carry away a corpse. She would have chosen death before capture. They must have wanted her alive. We must find her. If your mother is in the hands Holy of the bridge, shit. they'd have taken her to their closest camp. Promise me that we will do everything we can to bring her back. Of course. As soon as I find more uh, survivors. I don't see anybody here. God. Okay, so we're gonna hop down. Take a look. So, well, oh, search. We can search the ruins too, I guess. Where is the uh, main objective, though? Usually, it pops up as a giant star. Fix that up a little bit. Jesus, they just torched this whole area. Oh, hello. Over there, I think that man is still breathing. Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. and help all survivors um who else could there be it, what i don't like is that there's no like search area it's just like hey here's the star search in the general area they could be hiding behind a building or whatever but you don't get to find out over there i think that man is still oh. breathing where? Let's make sure. You can walk now. Return to the village. We must make sure that there are no more survivors. See, she was hiding in the brush. Is that all of them? I want to get all of them. I really do. Ah. Who survived? I do not think that we will find any more of them now. We healed them all, thanks to you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Thank you. Alright. So. Now we gotta search the ruins over here. So I think we hop up up there. That, oh god, beasts are already moving in. Hate getting stuck on the environment pieces. Oh, 
we're surging up here. Well, let's get whatever this question mark is. I think it is probably a camp. Yes, it is. This seems like a good location to camp. Let's stick some things in here. There we go. We're at a good, uh, we're at a good measure to run around. Wait, what? Oh, 205 out of 200. And inventory. Let's, uh, that can go in there. That can go in there. Right, where are we at now? 373 or 173. material and gold. This, these look like colonial shops. There are some images on these walls. Let's get closer. This is the first time I've seen these drawings so closely. You have never come here. You certainly seem to know the place. This site is sacred and taboo. Everyone knows where it is, but no one ever comes here. All these colors are so beautiful. I never would have imagined that they could create something so delicate. Who are you talking about? Of those who built these lodgings. ...that my ancestors vanquished in a past war. You know who they were? I only know the legend. The legend of Dida Kid and Nadaige. I'm listening. It is said our people lived peacefully... ...until the men appeared from the sea... ...intent on making our lands their own. They dug great caverns into the earth... ...ripped down our forests... ...destroying everything in their wake. They were evil. The warriors killed so many people that even their own people came to fear them. Here, they built a terrible city that spewed out clouds of cinder and death. Our kings and queens were desperate. They went to the heart of our island, and the island heard them. From the woods appeared the first guardian. He was taller than a city, and with each step it smashed a lodging. It was a guardian of Rat, and the city could not resist him. Since then, the Earth answers our call for magic, and in exchange, we become all Manawi, in keeping with the pacts our kings and queens once made. It is a very sad and terrible legend. I wonder who these people from the sea could have been. A people from the continent, no doubt. Our Malakor might well be the cursed result of that war from another age. We have nothing more nor anyone else to find here. I must report all we've learned to Constantine. Okay. We'll uh, talk to Siora, help her find her mother. Well, wait, I gotta talk to her? Karantz, my mother is still held in this outpost near the Gigador. I must do everything I can to free her from the lion's claws. Of course. So will you accompany me? Yes, yes, yes. We will do everything we can to free her. Do not worry. Let's go. Okay, I was wondering how we actually got to do that. All right, it's just up north. I 
need a bit of practice. Okay, can't climb that, so let's go to the campfire and... Can we fast travel up there? No, we can fast travel to this one. Uh, what is this one called? Camp near Vigigadon. Alright, down we go. Excuse me. All right. Well, it may have been a bit roundabout. We found a good way to get here. been a small skirmish out of here. Sade, I am the legate of the merchant congregation. Oh, well, you can come in, Your Excellency. But this savage, on the other hand... Excuse me? I the one you call a savage, Renaigse. This young lady is the princess of her people, and she is with me. As such, I would appreciate if you let us through. Very well, Your Excellency. Please go and find the captain. I'd feel better knowing that he gave you his endorsement. Thank you. All right, he's in here. Well, who are you? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. Why are you at war against the natives? Because they reject our presence. They've been attacking us for months. These savages, they stubbornly refuse civilization. And our men pay the price. We can't let them slaughter us without reacting. Since you arrived here, you have destroyed the forest and ripped open the earth. And people disappear in our villages. The on all Manawi first. We are only defending ourselves, and we are the savages. Since we've defeated you, you can believe what you like. Anything else? I mean, I wouldn't call that battle a defeat. <laughs> it looks like a stalemate, but... Allow me to introduce Siora, the daughter of Queen Bladnid, whom you faced on the battlefield. We understand that you brought her mother here, and I would like to negotiate her liberation. A liberation? That'll prove difficult. She's dead. No! You! You let her die! You may even have finished her off like an agonizing animal! Well, we didn't need to. When we collected her up from the battlefield, she was severely wounded. She died on the way to the camp. I want to see her body, Honol Manawi. Please. I must see her. Can we see her, Captain? If you're the one who's asking, Your Excellency, it should be possible. You're in luck. We were thinking about getting rid of it, but we received the order to keep her body. It's still at the infirmary. Ask the doctor. He'll show it to you. Thank you, Captain. Siora, I'm terribly sorry. Let's go see her now. I need to. I'm sorry, pretty flower. I really am. The infirmary must be the building on the right near the camp entrance. Let's go. All right, let's go, uh, collector. You there? Who are you? 
Are you looking for a doctor? No, none I'm of your business. I'm the legate of the congregation, and this is Siora, the daughter of the queen whose remains you are keeping. I would like to see her. I need to see her. Please. My condolences, madam. The body of your mother is back there in the room on the left. I should give you some privacy while you are mourning. We won't be far. And of our tear too, my dear. Men sit a den on me, Frichtemann. I must take her with me on Almanawi. We must perform the rituals. The captain said that he was instructed to keep her body. It will not be easy to convince him to disobey. I do not care about the captain's orders. She is my mother. She must be given back to the earth. So, let's go back to see the captain and try to make him change his mind. You can try, but with all due respect, I doubt that you will succeed. He will not want to draw attention to himself by disobeying this order. What do you mean? I believe he is a traitor, and that he made a deal with Telemi. Those are some serious accusations, even for a member of the Guard. Why would you believe such a thing? I overheard a conversation that got me thinking, and I also saw certain documents. We could use them to pressure him. Did you take them? No, that would be too risky. I do not want to get into trouble. But I suppose they would still be amongst his other belongings. Will they let us rummage through this place without protesting? Most of the Guards returned to Hikmet after the battle was over. If you are discreet, you should be able to enter the officer's building. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Shouldn't you ask the Captain first? Maybe he'll change his mind. You're right. Let's try talking to him before rummaging through the camp. All right, well, thank you, Dorian. <laughs> we'll uh, talk to the Captain. This is not the door, it's the door next to it. Captain? Your Excellency, what do you want? Uh, claim the Queen's body. We would like to retrieve the remains of the Queen. Bring her back to her people and her family. That will not be possible, Your Excellency. As I told you, the Governor specifically asked us to keep her. He wants her delivered to one of his scholars who wanted to study her. Let's see what you we can do. You have lost a lot of men in this battle. How would you feel if someone prevented you from giving them a proper burial? If you knew that their corpses were going to be given to some scholars to be dissected, wouldn't you want to have them back? You have a way with words, Your Excellency. Yes, I would like to give them a proper grave. Take her with you. I'll find an excuse to give the Governor's men when they come. Thank you, Captain. There. We managed to convince him in the end. We'll be able to bring the body of your mother back to your village. Then let's go. I am eager to reunite with this Seld and talk to her. All right, let's go. Um, is this a camp? We'll see if it's a camp. Oh, just go directly to the village. Okay. Um, there's a camp like right out here. You know what? I'll sell the stuff later. I do want to see what you have, though, sir. Bird tier to mud. You are Siora's friend. Look, I have beautiful things to exchange. Well, let's uh let's see what you got. Oh wow. Got some high-level stuff there, buddy. So wait, what's uh why is this grayed out? I can use it. Hmm. Alright. Oh wow. None of those are interesting. Might buy this for Sierra, we'll see. If you want to trade again, 
you know where to find me. All right, let's go talk to his sold. Up. Oh. Hello. Oh, it didn't send us into a cutscene immediately. And Ivar's Tirse, some men delivered her remains here. They said that it was thanks to you. And the Renaigze legend, thank you. We will be able to pay homage to our mother. Why are there mind shakers here, Aselt? I meant to tell you about it. They came saying that our mother had made an agreement with Teleme. But. Mater did not tell me about it. She didn't say anything to me either. I do not like this, Iseld. These people want to drive us away from the land. I know. But we need help after the defeat. And they say that she made a promise set in stone. The spirits of the people of our village would have to go to the light, and in exchange they'd help us against the lions. This is impossible. Mater would never have done such a thing. They are lying, I'm certain of it. They may be. But if there really is a promise set in stone, we cannot break it. And we will have to bury our mother according to their rituals. We must verify it. I will not stand there while these mind shakers take our village. Okay. So what do we need to do? What do you need us to do? Right. We'll uh, fast travel to wherever we need to go, but first let's sell this stuff to the uh, merchant over here, because I am now too heavy to run. Do you see anything you would like to exchange? Okay, um, I'm gonna keep that. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep that. Um, keep the tracker's tunic for now. Yeah. Oh uh, no, let's keep those. And those. I can't even see what those look like. Keep those. And can I sell all the junk? No. we looking on weight All right, we're pretty good can't use that need up uh, not obsidian if you right, let's equip you know where to find me this yes lovely take uh take this take take this ring sir please help do you see anything You want to try All right. again? Off we go. To find me. Where is it telling me to go? All right, we'll, we'll fast travel and see what it says. Because there should be a fast travel spot, like right here. Up down here to Tulay, or close to Tulay, May?
Ooh, good time. Take that out too. Oh, give those to Sierra actually. Uh, Sierra, Sierra, there we go. She can wear those. And we got an upgrader. Alright, so. We're gonna keep some of this more unique stuff. That's her original one. Okay, I think that's it, actually. Oh, wait, what did you have to for me to buy? Straight saber, that might actually be good. I can't use either of those. We're, we're gonna stick with what I got. Um, let's cr customize her a little bit. Right, that does 96, that does 92, 100. What am I missing? Refined ore? Refined iron ore. That's pretty good. Alright, let's grab some refined iron ore from here and just give her a lockpick. Consumables, is that ingredients? Let's just find that. Okay. And oh, Afro wants to talk to us, but we'll do that after the fact. Lock pouch. What does the lock pouch do? Adds plus one to lock picking. All right, let's go. Okay. So we're going to be running into this. What What is this? Go to the village indicated by Petra. Oh, this has nothing to do with... Uh... Talk to Constantine about the ruins. Let's actually go do that then. Since we can't actually work with... Uh... Finding Siora's uh, the tablet yet. Karan, Can we talk to her? Do you need something? I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. How are you feeling? Unwell. I am angry. And I feel an immense void within me. I blame myself for not having been on this battlefield with her. I understand. My mother had the Malachor, and yet I had to leave her behind as she was at death's door. I can't help thinking that I should have stayed by her side, just like you. And you could not have done anything to save her, either. 
Thank you, Onol Manawi. Your words alleviate my sorrow. Anything else? Do you have anyone, a friend perhaps, whom you could talk to in this trying time? I usually confide in my sister, but she's suffering too. And I think she resents me for not having been there when our mother needed me. Tell her you're here if she wants to talk. I know we've only known each other for a little while. But if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. Thank you, Anal Manawi. You are a good person. And I'm glad that you are my friend. Anything else? Uh, no. I must leave you. See you later. Off we go. Okay. Um, you know what? Since we're here, let's talk to her and see what she needs. Desade, I'd like to discuss something with you. Okay. I'm listening. My colleagues are only interested in the physiology of the islanders and consider everything else to be superstitions. However, if we want to understand how they are transforming, we need to take a look at their culture. The potions they drink, the dyes they use, are surely the source of their physical changes. Why not talk about it with Siora? It seems to me that she would be the best one to help you. Siora is very suspicious of me. She will never betray the secrets of the Donegada. But I was told about a place of ritual called Kurganau, decorated with carvings and offerings. By studying them, I hope to better understand what is possibly the greatest mystery of this century. But they call it a dangerous place, and I cannot go alone. Will you accompany me? Uh, yes, but later. Sorry. I'm already very busy at the moment. I understand. But think about it all the same. Anything else? Uh, no, actually. Wait. Do you often hold strangers at gunpoint? Only when I'm being tracked. What about you? Do you often track young ladies? Yeah, I wouldn't, uh... <laughs> I wouldn't put it that way. Your journal was surprisingly thorough, and your observations very pertinent. How could one not want to find someone so brilliant? Your compliment goes straight to my heart, I mean it. But I regret to inform you that your friendship appeals to me more than your appearance. Anything else? I mean, that's fine. That's not what I was going for. I must leave you. Okay, so I think when we return, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're going to go talk to Constantine and see what's up with him. Talk about you know, those ruins we found and all that. And we'll see what else, what other troubles we can get into. So I thank you so much for watching. If you are on YouTube and you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time.